Now in this demo, I also don't have a page to start with. It's just good practice for setting up your InDesign documents. So I'll go to File, New Document. I'm just gonna go with what I did last time for the last demo, which is a tabloid sheet of paper. My margins are zero, it's a vertical sheet of paper. InDesign remembers the last thing you did, so I'll just click Create one more time. I'm gonna hit Command D for a document. In Chapter 4, I will go to Folder 15, and I have these two photos right here. Okay, so what I wanna do is select them. Now let's do this one first, the bottom one. I'm gonna click Open, click and drag a decent size image right there. I'll click outside. Remember, you always deselect a photo before you put in the next photo. Command D, and now I'll pick a little inset photo for this fair shot. So I'll just click and drag right there. Put a little inset photo. Okay, but this background photo has a lot of detail. So for the inset photo here, I'm gonna add a little bit of a stroke to it. Just highlight the value, start hitting the up arrow. Maybe I wanna put an eight point stroke, but instead of that being black, let's go with white. There we go, a little inset. I'll hit W so you could see that more clearly. And to make this photo stand out even more, I'm gonna click on it, go to Object, Effects, Drop Shadow. We'll just pull this off to the side. And that barely shows a drop shadow. So I'm gonna click on the distance arrow, hit the up arrow, just kind of push the drop shadow off a little bit more. I can change the angle of that to come down a little more this direction here. And maybe make that a little bit darker. If I want it to be a little softer, I adjust the size setting. So that gives it a little bit of a softer appearance there. There we go. And I'll click OK. But let's say I am used to clicking and dragging to select images. Now the problem is if I start outside this and click and drag, I'm going to pull the background right off the page. OK, and I don't want to do that. So I'll go to Edit and Undo. But I tend to do that a lot especially with the background and history of working with Adobe Illustrator. And I tend to forget that and I start outside and I go to drag and oh shoot, I forgot, I can't do that. So what I can do is if I lay down a photo and I want that photo to stay there, I click on it and then I go to object and lock, okay? Now when I hover over this, nothing's gonna happen when I click nothing will happen this photo is locked okay so you just have to remember that you locked it okay click nothing's happening i can go to object and unlock and then we're right back where we started if i click on it and i go to object and lock well how can i really tell it's been locked okay i hit the letter w W to get out of preview mode. And you can see right up here, even though I zoom in, the icon's not changing. This is a link, so is this photo, it's a link. But this photo has a tiny little lock on it. So when I click and drag, I can't select that photo. I can select this smaller one to move it around, but I can't select this one because it's locked. Now I can easily just click the lock and unlock it. See, now I can select it. But if I go to object and lock, here's the difference. You can have multiple photos locked on a page. You don't want to just come in here and say unlock all because that will unlock 25 different photos. You might just want to unlock the one for your background. So keep that in mind. If you hit W for preview, you're not going to see that lock. You're not even going to know which one is locked. Okay, you hit W to see the icons, get out of preview mode, 
And if you want to unlock one photo at a time, you click the little lock. It's kind of right across from the corner widget, which would typically be in the upper right. Now you have the lock in the upper left. Click it to unlock it. Now I can zoom back out, start to rearrange my page. Maybe I put that up in the corner, hold command key and shift key, and I'll resize my photo right there. Okay. If I wanted this photo to cover the entire sheet of paper, I hold command and shift, keep dragging until I hit the bottom of the page right there. Then I would just have to let go of the keyboard, pull this side back over to kind of crop out that edge right there. And I don't want that photo to move anymore. So I click on it, object and lock. I can see the lock even bigger because I made my photo bigger. If I don't want to see these little icons, W for preview. And there we go. Now I can only select the smaller photo. Click on my corner widget, maybe drag these in, give it a softer look. And that's how I can lay out a backdrop. When I'm done, I cannot see the lock because I'm in preview mode. So W to get out of preview. Click on the lock to unlock it. Now I can edit this photo if I wanted to. Hold Command and Shift. Drag the photo a little smaller. Or, you know, maybe I keep it that size right there and then I just do a little bit of cropping like this. So we could have room for text over here talking about the Orange County Fair. Whatever you want to do, it's your design. But that's how you lock and unlock photos here in InDesign.